Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is my first ever Discoveries and Declutters video. So I said in my kind of makeup rehab for 2019 plan video, I did a bit of project planning last year and I just felt it didn't really work for me. I just don't go through a lot of makeup really quickly. I'm not heavy handed and I have a lot of products. So what I found when I was project planning last year is that I wasn't using everything I owned. I was trying to concentrate on using one thing but I had all this other stuff sitting that is aging and going off at the same time as I'm concentrating on using one blush 10 times rather than using 10 blushes one time. This year I do want to declutter a little bit more. So my whole kind of thought process and approach this year is that when I've used a colour product, so generally that's an eye cheek or lip product, not so much like base products and things, um, I'm putting it to one side and collecting all the colour products that I use, um, which means two things. At the end of the month I've got a bag of all the makeup that I've used that month and I can go through it and kind of just be like what did I enjoy using, what have I not enjoyed using so much and declutter hopefully from that. But also basically at the end of the year anything that's still sitting in this storage behind me here has been unused. If I go a full year and I don't touch something and I don't use it then it's kind of like well if you didn't use it in the space of a year unless it's a special product like you know a sequin thing or something that is quite specific and not something you're going to use on a kind of average day do I really need to have it? So I haven't done one yet this is my first one and I've got the makeup that I used in January, February and March to go through. I'm going to I think set up the camera go through it on the floor talk to you about what I'm keeping what I like and what I'm getting rid of. Okay so this is my box of makeup that I used in January. So January was a very kind of peachy neutral mood for me. I don't think if I'm honest there's any declutters here. The one that I want to draw attention to, oh do you know I think I actually took it out and used it again which was the Tarte Party Blush but I'll come back to that because it must be in maybe my February one because I took it out and used it again but I also wanted to just talk about this as a bit of a discovery or a rediscovery um, and this is the Rimmel Santa Fe blush, so um, I'll just swatch that. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but basically what I was really into in January was um, very kind of natural looks, neutrally blushes that gave me like a little bit of life, but weren't too kind of colourful, so this was exactly the sort of blush that I was really, really enjoying. Um, then that's what all my other kind of blushes that I used um, that month, as you can see, very much into the peachy tones. Tarte Tipsy Milani Luminoso Gingerly by MAC, Spring Sheen by MAC. Um, I'm saving all of these, I'm keeping all of these. My Project 10 Pan blush from last year, I still need to actually film that. Um, so that is Illamasqua Rude, which is a cream blush that I absolutely love. So again, saving that. Urban Decay Fetish blush. Um, again, really like that one. So those are the blush products that I used. Um, oh, two palettes that I loved using. Um, Subculture and Modern Renaissance, both by ABH. Um, loved both of these palettes, definitely saving both. Um, I'm going to put them away just now. So what I've actually got here is a basket, which is going to be for things that I want to save, but put back into my makeup collection and start using. Um, because I feel like if there's stuff that I do want to use again, then if I'm using that, I've saved it already. And then if there's other stuff in my makeup collection at the end of the year that I've not used because I've been opting to use something that I put back in over what is there, then that's a sign as well that I'm not going to use that product when I've got products that I prefer. So there will be stuff that I'm saving but putting back in. And then the stuff that I'm putting over here off camera um, is stuff that I have used and I'm saving um, but I'm putting it into my storage until I've worked through more makeup. This is a beautiful eyeshadow palette from MAC. It was limited edition though, so I won't go on too much about it. The only thing I would say is that I definitely realised that, and I love this as well, from Ciati. It was the Olivia Palermo collection. I have two of these eyeshadow palettes. They're so pigmented and beautiful. Um, but the only thing I would say is that I definitely realised that Although I was using different palettes, I basically was using the same sort of neutrally shadows in each of them um, on a sort of day-to-day -day basis. I was generally just doing like a brown eye with something kind of through the crease. There is a debate as to whether I need all of these palettes if I'm basically creating the same look with all of them, but 
For now, I'm saving all of these eyeshadows. This is the NARS Zold Duo, which is absolutely beautiful. If you guys haven't swatched that, you need to go swatch it because like, it's not even just about how it looks, it also feels absolutely beautiful. It did definitely crease on me, but I didn't use a primer, so um, with a primer, obviously it would perform better. But I'm saving that for now on This Is Beautiful. Definitely would recommend these from By Terry, the Jewel Expert Powders. This is shade number 7, which is called Sun Desire, um, but I actually just use it as blush, and it's absolutely beautiful, so... Really recommend checking out those powders from By Terry if you haven't already. I used three eyeliners, so MAC Terry, which is obviously a classic. This one from Kevin O'Quan, which is in the shade Kobicha, um, which is number two. And I absolutely love this, but you get so little product in it that I really would have to say I couldn't actually in good conscience recommend it to you. Um, but basically, so those two, and then this one from Estee Lauder in the shade Coffee. Um, but as you can see, three brown eyeliners basically. Um, so what I've realised definitely through doing this is that I do not use a lot of eyeliner, but I own a lot of eyeliner. So that's maybe something that I can look into, but I'm saving the three of them for now. Lip liners, I used my NARS, um, I think that's called Lanakai or something like that. Um, MAC Half Red and um, Kat Von D uh, Hawkwind uh, lip liners. So saving the three of them. This was actually one that I really enjoyed and that was a bit of a surprise to me. It's the NARS um, lip pencil in the shade Intriguing. Um, it's just a very kind of neutral. It's not really... Generally I was in a bit of a funny mood in January because these colours are not generally up my street. I'm more of a bold lip girl but as you can see from a lot of these colours um, I was in a very kind of neutral mood in January. Ashton by ABH as well, which I really, really enjoyed. I think that's a really, really pretty colour. This came in the set from Sephora. I think it was last year's birthday gift. Um, and this is the Tarte Lip Paint. And this is the shade Birthday Soup, which I will swatch there for you. I am not 100% sure about this shade, so I'm actually putting this back in um, and I want to see if I can use it again. So I'm putting that in my basket and that's going back into my makeup collection. Um, because I think I did quite like it but it's so different for, all, for me that I was like I just want to play with it a little bit more to decide if I'm definitely keeping it. Bourjois number 12 if you guys haven't heard me talk about this before I'd be very surprised because I love this one. So this is Bourjois um, Rouge Edition Velvet in the shade number 12. It's absolutely stunning. One of my all time favourite lip products as you can see. Actually kind of it's all come away at the side and I think I actually bought a backup of this because I thought this one was nearly done, but this is just such a beautiful shade. Again, from the Seattle Olivia Plermo collection, I used the shade Truffle. Nothing too special, but I'm going to hold on to it for now. This I really like. I don't know if they make these anymore, actually. Number 17, Mirror Shine. This is in the shade Cheeky Secret, which looks like that on the hand, but it's just kind of a nothing -y shade when it's on the lips. It's actually really good for days when you just kind of want to look... Like you get something but not a lot on. So yeah, you can definitely see the colour palette I was into in January. I used three MAC lipsticks. So I used Hot Tahiti, which is one of my all-time favourite shades from MAC. Again, quite a kind of easy, sheer, not a lot going on there shade, but really lovely. Um, MAC Red, which is very classic MAC lipstick, um, which I do really enjoy. And then MAC Viva Glam Cindy, which again was in my Project 10 pan last year. Those are the three MAC lipsticks that I used and I'm saving them all. Sandstorm by Wet n Wild. It looks a bit of a mess actually. I don't really know what's going on there. That's another really, really pretty shade. And then the last thing in the box is Stila Lip Glaze in the shade Marmalade. That's that there. Not, again, that much going on with it. Just because this is so near the end, I think I'm going to put this back into my makeup collection because I quite like to actually finish this at some point so um, I'm going to put that back in but I have used it so I am technically saving it whether I use it again or not this year and that is all the makeup that I used in January so saving everything so far basically no declutters let's go on to February this is what I wore in February Urban Decay Naked 3 love that palette definitely definitely saving it this is another I so highly highly recommend this palette it's really old now I don't think they make it anymore but if you do ever kind of see one I don't know at a discount store or something um cargo cosmetics and it's called the vintage escape eyeshadow palette and 
I just absolutely love this palette. The shadows are just such good quality. They're neutral. They're all super wearable. Um, yeah, I rave about this palette to anyone that will listen. Naked 2. So basically my reason for getting Naked 2 is that I never wore Naked 1 as much as I thought I would. Um, and this one was cooler and I thought it might suit me better. If I'm totally honest though, I've never used this one as much as I kind of thought I would. So I'm going to put that into this basket, try and use it again, have a play with it. And that's a contender for being decluttered, I think. Um, and then this one, this is like dusty because it's all been sitting waiting to be filmed. I will be cleaning all of these things, but they've been waiting to be filmed and then I'll clean them after I've filmed them. Just in case you're like, that all needs a bit of a wipe. It kind of definitely does. Um, so this is a Chanel quad in the shade um, 254 Tissé d'Automne, which is an absolutely beautiful quad. So I definitely will be keeping this. It's a very like pretty kind of autumnal quad, obviously, given the name as well. Um, but I do absolutely love those green shades. So saving that, got another Chanel product here. This is a blush shade 72 Rose Initial. Do you know, I'm not sure about this actually, let me. I never feel blush swatches very well, but it does show up on the face. Don't know if you can even see that. I am going to put this back in and I think this is a contender for being decluttered at some later point in the year. Um, but I'm going to put it in and give it another chance to use it again, see how I feel about it. NARS Guy Bourdain palette, <sighs> obviously absolutely filthy. I remember being so excited by this and I think I've held on to it because I have such fond memories of going to Space NK the day this came out and like I got the last one that was in stock. Um, but if I'm honest, I just... I really like the highlighter, but I've definitely got other highlighters that I really like. This is really fun, but I've got other blushes that do it. And then, so the other ones, I never use the bronzer straight up. Don't use it. It doesn't actually say in the bottom what these are, but, um, you know, you've got, I think that's orgasm there. And then, do you know, I'm just going to declutter this. So there's there's the first declutter. Um, the pigmentation in this just isn't what it was. It is really old. Um, so I, I'm probably just putting it in the bin given the age of it. I have been asked kind of why I don't donate a lot of things and stuff but if you guys think about it, I've not shopped in two years so a lot of what I'm actually using is a lot older than it sh it's, it's all expired basically um, so, and it's all been used, nothing's like brand new and untouched. A lot of places won't take the donated stuff that is out of date and used. I mean, I don't know when this came out. I'm sure I could Google it and find out and give myself a nasty shot, but I'm willing to bet this is over five years old and it's a 24 month expiry. So this is like expired by probably a minimum of about three years and potentially more. So do I really want to donate that? And then if somebody uses it and it's not that pigmented, they have a bad reaction. That's why I've not donated a lot of stuff. It's not that I don't want to or anything. Like if somebody wanted that, I will happily give them it. But you know, if somebody's in a position where they're at a women's aid charity or something because they've, you know, left an abusive relationship, do they really want expired makeup adding to that? So NARS Loaded palette is an eyeshadow palette that I used in February. This is one of those palettes that I do really like, but it doesn't do anything very different to any other palettes. But, do you know, no, I'm going to hold on to it for now. This could be going at some point in the future, but for now, I'm putting this in the saved pile. Kat Von D... I think it's called Thunderstruck, isn't it? Yeah, Thunderstruck Eyeshadow. This is just such a pretty, pigmented, beautiful shade. I'm definitely, definitely saving that. Dior Parisian Sky. Really, really beautiful. Um, Quint, I suppose, because it's five. So saving that. Right, this is from Ilamasca and it is a face palette. Kind of torn in this because I like... Do I like this highlighter? But again, I have other highlighters that I like. I like this contour, but basically I like these two products, don't like these ones. Uh, I don't know whether to take these out and put them in a palette and try and use them or... Do you know what? No. I'm just going to pass this whole palette on. I can spray it with my disinfectant spray and see if somebody else wants it. Two things decluttered so far. Doing slightly better with February. MAC blush in the shade Prism, which again is very kind of neutral, good for kind of giving you life. Blush, I think there's a little bit of heart pan on there, which you'll probably need to kind of scrape to, but yeah. Um, I'm going to save that for now. Burberry blush, the shade number two, which again, very neutral, 
nice easy to wear blush so I'm going to save that. This is the problem with this box, I can't kind of take things out and say oh this is all one kind of type of thing and show you them together. Um, NARS bronzer in the shade Seaside. I'm going to save, I don't wear a lot of bronzer but this is one that's really good for pale people so I'm going to save that one. Get another eyeshadow palette there which is the MAC Cinderella. Um, again, another very neutral one. There's definitely a theme here. It's to the makeup I've been wearing in January and February. But I really like this and I really like that film and I love Lily James. So yeah, I'm going to hold on to this. This from Bourjois. I really, really like this brown shade in it. This is the Smoky Stories palette in the shade Auto Over Rose. And I bought this because I saw Mary Greenwell using it in a tutorial and I really liked it, so I'm going to keep this just now. Oh, another Kat Von D. If you guys, I think this is on sale. Actually, you probably don't want to buy it now because of the whole anti-vax thing. Um, but if you have this, worth pulling back out is the Kat Von D eyeshadow slash blush in the shade Lolita. Um, and I think it's an absolutely beautiful shade. So I know people are boycotting Kat Von D, but I bought all of these things before that anyway. Um, and there's no point really getting rid of them just because of that when I like the product. So... Yeah, if you have that, pull it back out. It's beautiful. So this is stunning. This is a lipstick and it's by Lancome. So it's from this little kind of set of lipsticks, which is the um, Rouge and Love set. And this is shade number 379N. It's a really beautiful colour. And it's just so like, you don't feel like you've got anything on your lips at all when you're wearing this. Um, but it is so long lasting and I really love the colour as well. So that is a high recommendation from me. Another two blushes, something special by MAC which is a really nice peachy cream blush and then Tenderling by MAC which is another one that is a bit like Prism and that it's just so good if you just want to look alive without proper colour. So saving both of these. Oh I love this, this is a definite um, recommendation. Pat McGrath, this is the shade Flesh 3. I love my Pat McGrath. I only have two Pat McGrath lipsticks, but I love them both. And I really want the shade Guinevere as well. Um, but that's what Flesh 3 looks like. It's one of my absolute favourite lipsticks. Um, would highly, highly, highly recommend checking this one out if the colour looks up your street. If it doesn't, check out other lipsticks because the formula is just stunning in these. I really, really like them. I don't have a lot of Pat McGrath makeup, but everything I have from her... I absolutely adore. Lip liners, I use MAC etc, MAC Whirl, and um, this is a Burberry red one, the writing's all rubbed off, is it? That is Union Red. NARS, I want to say the other one that I had again, the writing's rubbed off this, um, but I think it's Medano Beach, and then the Gosh um, lip, does Gosh even still exist? Is that still a thing? Um, this is the shade number 5, Flirty Orange, again, I'm going to keep all of them. Another um, Ciate Olivia Palermo, this is the shade Cashmere, Essie Lauder Pink Shine Lip Gloss. Again, my lips, I think part of what's been going on though is that this was when my lips started to get really chapped, so I wanted all these kind of nude colours that weren't going to kind of draw attention to it. Whether it's actually something that I really like or not is maybe debatable. I'm going to hold on to it for now. I don't want to declutter too much because I think most of the stuff's too expired, it's just going to go in the bin. So I don't want to declutter something if there's a chance of me using it up, but yeah. I am also really enjoying actually having less stuff in my dressing table. This is one of my favourite products, it's very very different for me, it's very pink which I don't generally go for. Um, but it's by Huda Beauty and it's in the shade Gossip Girl. Um, and I really really like it, definitely saving that, definitely recommend that. Old Dior Mini Lipstick in the shade 999, which is just a nice classic red colour. That is my other Burberry lip liner, I think that's in the shade Oxblood. I've got three, I've got two red ones and an Oxbloody one. I think that might be the Oxblood. Again, writing has completely rubbed off, um, but I'm going to save that. This is by Neutrogena and it is a little brown eyeliner. It's alright, but I've literally just saved three other brown eyeliners from um, my last month's so oh, I don't know what to do. I do. Do you know what? I'm going to save it and then at the end of the year when I'm putting everything back in, I will swatch all the brown eyeliners from all the different months next to each other and we'll do a big declutter again at the end of the year. So I'll save it just now actually. Another blush from MAC. This is shade Copper Tone. Really, really like this one. Good if you're a ginger. 
like me from Dior. Oh, this is beautiful. The shade Golden Shock. This was a Christmas collection, so limited edition. Can't get it anymore, but Dior, honestly, Dior quads don't get enough love overall in the blogosphere. Like, please check these out. If you haven't um, used any of the Dior eyeshadows, the formulas on them are so, 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 so good. I've used this, which I really like, is the NARS... Um, cheek palette again limited edition unfiltered one if i'm honest i mainly use well i don't use that one i've used all the others so yeah i'm just gonna keep i was gonna say i might try and depot the ones i use but it's only one that i don't use so i'm just gonna keep the palette because that's gonna be a lot neater than me depotting them and making a mess with them oh this is beautiful and um, if you haven't tried these mark jacobs um blushes please do they're absolutely stunning and um, you kind of get three in one because you can use like just either end like that or you can kind of get, can you guys see? So that is the mixed one, so so pretty. Um, that's like just your highlighted shades, just the orange shades. So you can kind of get three products in one with them but they're so so pretty. I would really like to get all of these basically once I'm no longer on my spending man and don't have as much stuff and um, this is the shade 502 lines and last night and yeah it's one of my absolute favorite products that I own so highly highly recommend this is the other Ciate Olivia Palermo palette and again just such good quality so pigmented love these palettes so definitely saving that as well I did a black look and I really like this actually this is from um, Maybelline and it is their Master Smoky and I don't generally do a lot of kind of smoky eyes and things but I think because my lips were so chapped I was doing a lot more than I would usually do um, but yeah this is just so nice, smokes out really nicely obviously I used it with a brush rather than the applicator but actually the applicator that's with it is definitely functional um, so yeah I really do really liked that. I have talked about these before um, they are from L'Oreal and they are the Le Matte. I don't think you can actually get these in the UK. I think you can only get them in the US. This one's my favourite. This is number 102. She's so matte and it's like kind of very neutral, really nice shade. So that's that one there. I really like that these are in a kind of pen format as well. I think they're just so easy and neat to use. And then the other one I've got here is 106 Mad for Matte. That's what that one looks like. I really like both of them. Um, so yeah, definitely keeping them and would definitely recommend checking these out. I never really hear anyone talking about them, um, but they are so good. They're comfortable on the lips. The shape makes them so easy to use. I really, really, really like these. Another thing I really, really like, uh, the By Terry Ombre Black Stars. This is the shade number 15 that I've used, um, which is like a kind of silvery sort of almost kind of taupey type shade. It's absolutely stunning. So that's number 15 um, and I really do like these. I've got quite a few. Love them all. Use this. I actually like this so I don't think you can buy it. It was in a free gift um, from number 7 and it is an eyeliner that has got dark brown on one end and ivory on the other end and I am quite the fan of this. I'll be really sad when this actually gets used up so I'm keeping that. Oh this is beautiful. I've talked about this before. The ABH um, Liquid Lips in the shade Sarafine or Sarafine. Really never sure how to pronounce it but it is just one of my absolute favourite makeup products that I own. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's just such a classic beautiful deep red but it's not into that burgundy it's definitely still a red although it's a deeper red just love this so so much would recommend this to everybody uh, oh this is another thing that I love as well from Marc Jacobs um, and it's a lipstick generally I really like these lipsticks I've got a couple and um, I've only got one full size one the other ones I've all had are like free gifts and minis but this is the shade Charlotte which is I think it's exclusive to Harrods um, but it's an absolutely beautiful formula. It's super long lasting, but it's creamy. It doesn't move about. It doesn't dry your lips out. I just, again, if you've not tried one of these Marc Jacobs lipsticks, I would really, really, really recommend them. Use Mac Social, which is a nice orangey colour. Oh, these are beautiful. Would highly recommend these. So these are the Stila Glitter and Glow, or no, this is one of the Shimmer and Glows in the shade Grace, which is just the glitter and glows are absolutely beautiful. They are like the proper glitter ones. Um, but these are the shimmers and oh, 
they are so so pretty so that is Grace um, and I really really like that shade. Another couple of lip liners, NYX um, Can, uh, Urban Decay Naked 2 and MAC Red. I'm going to keep all of them. Then, oh this is beautiful from Bourjois, it's the, the Rouge Velvet lipstick. This is shade number 12 Brunette. I am out of space, right, let's do it there. Um, which again just so beautiful absolutely love that color again one of these steel lip glazes these are so old which is why they are both the ones that i've shown you in this video have been nearly used um but this is in the shade star fruit and again i'm going to put this back into my collection just because it might hopefully actually get finished at some point this year but i do enjoy it and i, I do want to finish it rather than declutter it but i would quite like to finish it and get rid of it so i'm just going to put it back into my collection and then the last thing I used in February, I'm so sorry, this video is going to be so long, is the Lipstick Queen Medieval Lipstick, which is a very, like, neutrally, one of those ones that's supposed to kind of adapt to you. Again, it's not one of my favourites, but because my lips have been so chapped, that's exactly the kind of colour that I've been reaching for. It's just very sheer, easy to wear. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep it for that kind of scenario, if that ever happens again. So with February done, we have got two declutters and a few more things in the use it or lose it basket. So we are on to March, that is the last month um, and you'll be glad to know there's not as much stuff to go through in March because I was on holiday. So I didn't actually use different stuff every day because obviously I couldn't, I had restrictions on what I could pack. The first thing in March that I've used and I'm definitely saving is my Sephora Minnie Mouse palette. These are actually all great quality shadows. Um, I really, really like them. They're really pigmented. The staying power is really good. But also, the fact it's from the Minnie Mouse collection, I would definitely want to be saving that anyway. But the makeup itself is actually very, very good. This is super old, but I'm still going to save it. It's the MAC Brook Shields palette. I don't even want to Google what year this was from. As you can see, it's not had extensive use, despite the fact it's been in my collection for God knows how many years. Um, but I do really like it. All the shades are very safe and I'm definitely going to save it. This is a palette that I took on holiday with me. It's a Benefit Cheap Parade palette. It's got Hula, Hula Light, Dandelion, California and Rock Tour in it and I'm definitely saving that palette. It is my kind of go-to travel palette. I really, really enjoy it. Hula Light and the Narcissi side are the only bronzers that I have that I don't feel ridiculous wearing at home. So yeah, definitely saving this palette. And another definite save is my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I really like this. Again, this is what I took to Florida with me. I think this is such a versatile palette because you can use those kind of shimmery, pinky shades and create something really summery and fun, but you've also got these neutral shades that, you know, you can do one of these kind of all over, then one of these guys through the crease or whatever. Um, so I think you can just get such a variety of looks with this palette and I really, I do really, really like it. I feel like there was a lot of hype around it and then it sort of died down, but it's a palette I really, really enjoy. So, Urban Decay Naked 1. This is so old, um, and as I said, I bought Naked 2 because I didn't use this one as much. And I think what I'm going to do is take Naked and Buck out, because they're the only two shades that I really use in this palette, if I'm totally honest. Put them into my Z palette and throw away the rest of it. I have had this, I think, since about 2010. Don't shout at me. I've not got any reactions from using it, so I'm going to continue to use those two shades at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to move them into my Z palette and declutter the overall palette because I'm just not going to use it. And that was really hard because, like, I feel emotionally like that was just such a big palette, and I remember being so excited when I got it. But yeah, I really only use those two colours, so there's no point in holding on to the entire palette. Next up from Kiehl's, the Butter Sticks. This is Naturally Nude and Pop of Peony. I'm definitely going to keep both of them. I think, uh, I think what I'll maybe do is put this one into my skincare. So I'm going to put that back into the basket to get put back in and um, just because it's got an SPF in it and I'll put that one away with my other saved items. Two things I've already told you that I love. This is another by Terry Ombre Blackstar. This is in the shade number four, Bronze Moon, which I absolutely love. And then another Stila Shimmer and Glow. This one is in the shade Kitten. I'll swatch these both for you just so you can get an idea of them, but they are so pretty. Bronze Moon from the by Terry Ombre Blackstar. So 
definitely saving both of these and would definitely recommend both of them. This is what I wanted to talk about that I'm absolutely loving. It's the Tarte Party Blush. So I thought I knew I'd used it in January but I actually took it out and took it on holiday with me. So I use this quite a lot on holiday and I'm going to put this in this basket but it's not really I use it or lose it. It's more that I want to put this back in and use it in my collection and yeah just not have to wait until next year to use it again so that's going back into my collection. Another one of these Kat Von D shadows, uh, this is the green one which is called Iggy. I don't think they actually make these anymore but again if you have this already dig it back out. It is so beautiful. I will just swatch this like it's so pigmented, it's so much fun. If you own this, worth digging it back out if you haven't used it in a while. NARS Orgasm Blush. I don't use this as much as I should, but I do really, really like it. I think my problem is that in my storage, I've got like, my first couple of drawers are like primer, foundation, concealer, and then powder. So I quite often powder then get to this one. So I maybe need to look at that a little bit um, to kind of readdress how I'm storing things, see if that makes a difference, because I don't, I kind of forget about this name when I think to use it. I've generally powdered already and I prefer it on straight onto foundation, not powdered. Um, but I do really, really like it, so I'm definitely keeping it. But definitely something that when I'm putting everything back at the end of this year might be worth kind of redressing. I took two lip liners on holiday with me, which I'm going to save both of them. Um, so I kind of nude one, which is the NYX Ever and Brick by MAC. So. I like both of these, I'm going to keep both of them. Oh, I've got one more eyeshadow product here actually, which is from NARS and it is in the shade Cedos, it's their Velvet Shadow Sticks. So quite similar really to the By Terry in that it's that kind of stick shadow. Um, I really do like them, I find those kind of stick shadows very easy to work with, I find they set really well. Um, so that is the Cedos one here and yeah, keeping that as well. This I absolutely love, again I said in the February one I'd use number 12 um, Brunette. The writing has rubbed off of this one but I think this was called Bric-a-Brac. It's the shade number 5 um, but don't quote me on it. It's number 5 is what's not rubbed off so the shade name that I'm thinking it might be wrong um, but that's that one swatched and it's just so pretty. It's just one of my favourite types of shades to wear. Um, I find like these shades that have that kind of browny orangey tone to them just really kind of work with my colouring, give me a bit of life um, and I really like the formula of these, so definitely saving that. Then I've got three other lip products. Two of the, the Bite Beauty. This obviously needs a clean. I've obviously smushed it. Um, so this is the shade Phrase, which is the brighter red. This one, which is called Red Velvet. And that's the deeper red there. Definitely use Red Velvet more than Phrase, but yeah. I like both of them, so I'm going to save both. And then the last thing that I used in March, I promised you this one would be less of a intense month, is this NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade BLS 17, which is, I think, Pops Exposé, that says. This is like sticker twice, so it's never been the most readable. Um, so this kind of melted a little bit when I was in Florida, as you can see, but it's just a nice kind of nude lipstick that I do like, so I'm going to keep hold of it for now. So that is my... March hand. In three months we've got this in the use it or lose it basket other than this. I'm definitely keeping that. Um, and then these two lipsticks, lip glosses I'm definitely keeping. So this is my kind of, these three are use them or lose them. So Tarte, Lip Pain, um, the Chanel Blush and Naked 2 by Urban Decay. And then these guys are in the basket just to get some more use out of because I really like them. So Kiehl's SPF for lip, the Tarte Party Blush and then the two um, Stila lip glosses that I'm hoping I might actually finish this year. And then three declutters, so Naked 1 but I'm going to take Buck and um, Naked out of them. Going to get rid of my NARS Geek Bordan palette and I'm going to pass on this Elamaska palette. So not the the biggest set of declutters, I didn't expect it to be, um, but yeah, so those three are definitely going. That is my January, February and March discoveries and declutters. Overall, I did think I would have maybe gotten rid of more than three things. Um, I am slightly disappointed but I also didn't want to get rid of things for the sake of getting rid of things and I think as the months go on it'll become I'll maybe get rid of more because at some point in the year the stuff that's not been touched has not been touched for a reason whether it's because 
I don't really like the colour but I just haven't really wanted to admit that or I don't like the formula or I find it difficult to work with or it just is a great product in theory but doesn't suit my lifestyle or the way that I actually apply makeup or whatever it is those things are going to come out the further down I think probably at the start of the year I was going to use stuff that I was like oh well I know I like that so I definitely want to save that and I definitely want to save that and that was going to be how I was going to do it at first um, so yeah I would have maybe liked more but it is what it is I'm not going to declutter things for the sheer sake of trying to declutter them so yeah I'm now off to learn how to depot something out of a palette and put it into my Z palette that'll be a first time experience um, but yeah, I'm pleased with the decisions that I made. I hope these videos are maybe like quite a good way for me to actually talk to you about products that I like as well. Just when I'm going through them and I'm like, oh, I really like this or I really like that. And I would recommend things um, that I maybe just don't normally get the chance to bring up in a video if it's not relevant to a specific theme or look or whatever it is, for whatever reason, if I've not brought it up in a video before. Like, basically you guys are going to see my makeup collection over the course of doing these videos. So... Like almost everything that I own I will talk about at some point so hopefully it's just quite good from that point of view for you guys seeing what I like and overall would recommend and things that I'm not so sure on and whatever. You know it's hopefully a bit more kind of <sighs> gives you a bit more substance and kind of reviews and things rather than me just kind of doing hauls. I'd say I'm going to try and do them a bit more often not leave three months of stuff for one video so I know this has been really long. Thank you so much for watching to the end if you have done very impressed with you. I feel like I feel sorry for myself having to edit this is how I feel at the moment so we will see what the runtime eventually is but yeah thank you for watching I hope it's been helpful and I will speak to you in my next video. Bye!